<clears throat> What's up, y'all? I'm back. Go ahead and I uh, hit you guys with the uh, what was it? Uh, <laughs> Black King Crew Chicago uh, review. Like I said, they're back, y'all. So picking up way left off. They just came back from uh, New York, so they're back in the shop. Uh, Danielle is with uh, the guys and pretty much just tried her best to defend uh, Katrina's honor to the guys. Now you have Charmaine in Kat's apartment again. We ain't never seen Charmaine in her motherfucking place. But, you know, it's talking to her. The only thing I didn't like is, you know, she's sort of kind of speaking for um, Ryan pretty much is saying that he probably feels that, you know, you could possibly uh, take off and soar uh, to like a higher uh, place than he. But it's one of the things where it's like, that's probably not something that you should say, especially that y'all since y'all all work together. It's one thing for family, friends, and outside entities to say something about the people that you work with. It's another thing for somebody that actually works with you to say some shit like that because that's pretty much sowing seeds of, you know, deception and pretty much seeds of discord. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, so Charmaine at one point some in the episode pulls Danielle to the side and pretty much tells her that, you know, um, <clears throat> I had to pee uh if I'm not mistaken, Don said I can, you know, use, you know, piss in his room, whatever case may be. I get done. He does his thing, comes out. You know, he try, he straddles me, you know, tries to give me the D. And, you know, pleading her case. My whole thing is this. Why would, like, I feel no sympathy. I, I told you I'm not feeling for Charmaine either. Like, it's one of those where it's like, why would you put yourself in that type of situation? So I can't put all the blame on fucking Don because she could have easily been like, you know what, no. Or she could have went, did her business, and left out the fucking room. So mess me with the bullshit. Uh, Ryan has a client uh, pretty much if I'm not mistaken his grandmother is uh, suffering from cancer she is you know the backbone so he's getting uh, an Egyptian tattoo and uh, Nefertiti uh, pretty much which is you know a goddess of strength you know a black queen you know almost symbolizing uh, his grandmother and uh, Ryan at one point talks about how he started now mad not to look for it to be like business business but you know place that he can kind of like have fun this that, and third but it's just like Bro, I'm gonna need you to get your damn priority straight and understand why you are in business. But that's what he's there for. That's what he's there for. Four is on the phone with his other brother Adam. His brother Adam tells him that they're respect to father because uh, look, they got different mamas and daddies, and you know I ain't gonna call them half brother, but I don't know who that is who. But his damn daddy uh, had a stroke and uh, for what purpose on his deathbed, and uh, you know pretty much Don is telling him that he should go see his father. I'll be back with the rest of the stuff. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, four goes to see Ashley. Uh, pretty much, he's pleading on Don's behalf. Hold on, y'all. I forgot to turn the light back on. There we go. So he uh, is going to plead on his uh, brother's behalf, and his whole thing is seen as how he grew up without a father. He pretty much does not want that for uh, pretty much uh, his brother's, uh, well, for his nephew, more or less. And uh, Ashley, uh, yeah, Ashley's whole thing is just like, she feels almost as if, you know, he doesn't make her a priority. And, you know, I'm gonna say this. Regardless of what they do, the child needs to not, this, oh, how can I say this? The child does not need to be <clears throat> a pawn does not need to be used as a bargaining tool. If y'all got issues, y'all got issues. Because she could have easily said, the motherfucker, can he can continue to stay with you. He's just not staying with me. He's just not sleeping with me. He's not doing shit with me. But what he will do is he will take care of his child. I will not hold our child away from him. But as long as he knows that he will be a father, not an absentee father, and also know that he and I ain't shit, <clears throat> we're good. But they're going to end up being back in the bed with each other. And uh, Danielle pretty much uh, tells uh, Charmaine they having drinks that she kissed Ryan. Apparently they were watching a Disney movie of all things. I watch Disney movies? Shit. Ain't, ain't shit wrong with Disney. But they were watching a Disney movie. They were drunk. They kissed. Um, and she wants to tell her high school sweetheart, Terrence, They've been off and on, I believe she said, for eight years, and that's the only person that she's real, that pretty much she's been with. So she hasn't been with anyone since high school but him. 
and she feels that she should tell him. Now, Charmaine just like, hey, if you sing, if I was you and I'm single, I ain't telling no motherfucking shit, which I understand both parties. <clears throat> now, what I will say is this, personally, I wouldn't say shit. If I'm fucking single, I'm not going to tell you. Now, what I will do is if we're going to get back together, I will let you know, hey, this is what happened during our period away from each other in the event you want to know. But I'm not just going to offer it up as information because he could, if he wants to be salty, you know, pretty much go and start doing some random ass shit. Just fuck with her. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm hoping that Danielle pretty much thought like, well, fuck this shit is on is gonna be aired on TV any fucking way, so I might as well tell him. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Don gave a female tattoo. He talked about his problems, gave a tattoo about time, you know, symbolism, all that shit, and yeah, I'll be back. Alright, so, um, <clears throat> Kat hasn't been back to the shop since, uh, you know, she came back from New York. Danielle goes to see her, and uh, Danielle pretty much runs and tells that. You feel, you feel me? Uh, pretty much about everything that was said, <clears throat> how Van and Ryan felt that, you know, they collectively, you know, as a shop, made her. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, all that shit. Y'all, I mean, y'all watched that episode, so y'all know what the fuck was said. And, um, <clears throat> you know, Cap brought up a point where none of them called me. So, you know, if they felt any sort of kind of way they could have called me. Now, I will say this, Ryan had already talked to her. So, I mean, I'm not really giving Ryan a pass, but he did talk to her. So, how he felt is already out on the fucking table. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, you know, and then she wanted to know what did uh, Ford say. And they was like, well, he didn't say shit. He just sat there, you know, and she feels that kind of way. But my thing is this. I understand why she wanted to be defended, but... <clears throat> All y'all did was fuck. That's all the fuck y'all did was fuck. That's it. You feel what I'm saying? And y'all not really the fuck together. Plus, you don't know how the fuck he feels. You feel me? Now, if they were together, <clears throat> it, it is one thing, but I don't know. So, what the fuck else we got? Um, so, she's going to, at some point, you know, go ahead and uh, talk to them about uh, this whole entire thing. So. Let's see, let's see. I'm trying to figure out, is that it for them? Yeah, I think that's it. If there's any more, I really don't give a fuck. Alright, so Ford go see his uh, father. Uh, pretty much, I would assume he was on life support. And it was only for closure. So he got everything off his chest. Of course, no response from uh, his uh, respective father. But, you know, got everything off his chest. And, <clears throat> you know, was even just saying how this shouldn't have been what you know brought us together and all this other stuff and one thing that i want that i want to say is you know and you know i'm not I, i'll talk about my family issues probably in 2016 y'all probably get some of those stories but i mean like i said i have issues you know with my father it is what the fuck it is and you know the only people that really know the depth of our problem is me and him you feel what i'm saying and he has done and said some shit to me i brought it to his attention and you know his whole thing is why well, i don't remember i don't recall and one thing that i've learned because again my parents are in their fucking 60s can't teach an old dog new tricks you feel me so if the, if this is how they are and this is how the fuck they feel that's how the fuck they are you feel me so you really can't change that it's one of those ways like either you accept that flaw in them or you move the fuck on and my whole thing is this if trying to keep you keep someone in my life is going to bring me more pain i don't need your ass in it but uh don is going to use this experience to you know uh fix his uh family so Danielle and uh, Terrence, they hang out a lot, apparently. And uh, damn it, I keep forgetting to turn the damn light on. This, this shit be hot, y'all, okay? And I, don't, and I don't have a fan blowing on me because it's going to make this, you know, shake even more. And then y'all going to hear, and I don't want y'all complaining about the fan and shit. But <clears throat> they hang out a lot, but apparently she wants more. Um... You know, she's talking about, like, you know, what's up with them. And he was like, you know, I don't know where we're going to be, <clears throat> you know, like four years from now. And she stuck up on the four years part. It's like, why is it going to take that long? You know, and then, you know, they start arguing over it because she was just like, I ain't did shit since 
you since I've been with you. And he was like, so you ain't never did nothing? And she was like, I kissed one person. He was like, who? And my whole thing is this. See, 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 that's that shit right there. Why the fuck does it matter who? But he want to know who. She was like, Ryan. Automatically, he get in his motherfucking feelings. So apparently, he's threatened. I hope y'all caught that. Then he straight on that dumb ninja stance and shit. Just like, uh-uh. And all this other shit. I'm just like, bruh. Bruh. But all I'm going to say is that because I'm not going to get too much into this. <clears throat> Danielle need to take a page out of Rachel's book, step her pussy game up, and go ahead and do what the fuck she need to do because both pairs were high school sweethearts. You see what Rachel did. You know what I'm saying? It was one of those to the left, I'ma step on out, and I'ma do what I gotta do for me. I ain't gonna be sending so I, I'ma leave your ass in my rear view mirror while I'm driving on and what the fuck I'm driving on too. That's what the fuck Danielle need to do now. And Don breaks in to Ashley's house because he's talking about something I'm sneaking in all of you that was breaking and entering. Yo, your name ain't on the motherfucking lease. It's breaking and entering, but he breaks in. And, uh, you know, she comes in talking about some, you know, he got six seconds, you know, let me know why he hit. Girl Jasmine said, you got 10 seconds to go. You might want to step your pussy game up, too. <clears throat> he feel the motherfucking sob, sob story and she takes him back. Which I think we all knew that was gonna happen. I'm just ready to see the bitch asses that we about to get between the men and cats. So I'll be right back. Now before I, <clears throat> I uh, actually no, I, I'm, I'm gonna get to this first. Then hopefully if I remember, I'll talk about what I'm gonna talk about. So cat comes in. Damn, I forgot again, y'all. I'm sorry. Cat comes in with a fucking attitude and you know it's like coming at Ryan and the guys all types of fucking crazy so she gets that same fucking attitude back and on some real shit I mean more often than not I'm gonna give you exactly what the fuck you give me so Cat is a uh, I'm not finna talk about everything they said but Cat is telling Ryan that you know pretty much you wouldn't come at Van or you know Don or for the way you coming at me <clears throat> he was like yes the fuck I would and if y'all recall I, I don't think it was the last episode of the episode before Ryan and uh, Van had some fucking words and they was in each other's motherfucking face granted alcohol was involved but it's one of those where just like you can't sit here and say what you know cause she's trying to paint this picture of you ain't nothing but a bitch ass motherfucker cause you can come at me like this but not another motherfucker like not a dude but she's completely false with that you feel me? so cat at this point calls ryan a bitch and continues to call him now when she called him the bitch the first time it made him feel the kind of way and it was either the first or the second time she said that he gets up and walks away because that was a trigger <clears throat> here's the thing we all have triggers people can say sticks and stones never hurt my bones but words will never hurt me bullshit but we all have either that one word or that one topic that if it gets talked about or said chances are you probably uh, a fight's about to break out and i can respect the fact that even though ron can sit here you know get loud and be disrespectful in his tone she was respectful too don't get me don't get it twisted i'm glad he got up and walked away but she continued to call him a bitch and then even went over there the way he was so he walked away from you yet you follow him and continue to antagonize him and you know van pretty much tells her just like <clears throat> just know that we made you she was like no you didn't and he was like we all made each other we helped to build each other up and she was like uh no that's not what happened that's not how it happens and i am i'm gonna have to say uh cat you you lie okay lies you tell because last that i because she was trying to say y'all sought me out and but if y'all go back and listen to her story she sought out ryan bitches be lying <clears throat> so she's truly mad at four because four didn't have her back but my whole thing is this you can't come first like y'all not married y'all not blood you can't come into a motherfucking place on that fuck shit. You cannot come into a place, sit here, be disrespectful and everything, and then you want somebody to sit here and defend your motherfucking honor. Here's my whole thing. Even if it's my motherfucking brothers, <clears throat> on some real shit, if my brothers are wrong, and I'm talking about my blood brother, if they fucking wrong, they wrong. I would not stand with you if you wrong, but at the same motherfucking time, if another motherfucker try to step up, 
I'm gonna be posted, and if another motherfucker jump in, damn it, 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 it's going down. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm never gonna stand, if my brothers are wrong, if any of my family is wrong, I'm gonna let your ass know, motherfucker, you wrong. I am not going to support you in your wrong, but at the same exact time, I'm not gonna let a motherfucker physically attack you. Verbally, hey, how do you, well, we're adults, you should have an extended vocabulary. But physically, I wish to fuck some motherfuckers would. Okay. Try to figure out because I lost place in my notes and shit. <clears throat> so Van is pretty much done. He says his peas up and leaves. And after everybody else leave, now Cat wants to sit here and talk all nice and pleasant and shit. Mm-hmm. And Ryan's whole thing is like, cause she keeps saying, you know, cat ties my business and this, that, and third, and motherfuckers trying to call me. Let me call you right back, cause I'm trying to finish up. Like I only got like two more statements to do in this video. <laughs> like on oh, some real shit, you call me while I record. <laughs> I will call you right back. <laughs> All right, goodbye. <laughs> ah, I ain't gonna say who the fuck it was, but she know when she watched this video who the fuck it was. Well, let me go ahead and wrap this shit up. But Ryan's whole thing is like, you know, since you want to be all about business, bad. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be about business. That's how the fuck we going to do this. You feel what I'm saying? And it's the, and <clears throat> how do you say he was like, so if it's business you want, <clears throat> then we're going to leave it at that. So when you come to work, be about business. And when it's all said and done, fucking leave. So what he's saying is, when they get done having doing business and they turn it up hard and shit, he pretty much telling her as once you done business, go the fuck home. Don't stay here for everything else since all you want to be worried about is business. Now again, I'm not fully here for a lot of the shit that Ryan is doing because I understand he's trying to cultivate a family, but he needs to be focused about <clears throat> the business. But what I will say is, since Cat is so business oriented, I feel him on that since that's how you it says that's your main focus. If you if you decide to come back. Let's do business. When it's all said and done, I see your ass tomorrow. So I know we all not gonna agree. We probably gonna agree, disagree. It is what it is. But that's all that I have, you guys. This is Black Ink Crew, Chicago. <clears throat> and the one thing I was gonna say, and I'm glad I didn't forget. Now, if Sean is watching this video, I know I asked him on his video, why the fuck was Ike back here instead of Tina? I can't even say that shit, cause um, I'm probably gonna have Ike behind me next week because it looked like uh what that boy name is don about to sit here and don look like he about to hit a bitch i'm not here for it i'm not i hope that's not the case but we'll see but i'm gonna get the fuck off this camera because as y'all will see my ass over here glistening i'm too damn sexy for all that so i'm gonna see you guys on that video rate comment subscribe share holla back